All right, what's up, everybody? Brian here, and this is my Lucha Underground review and uh, recap for last night's episode of Lucha Underground. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have not had any time to really uh, watch any episodes of Lucha Underground except for that very first episode of Season 4. So... I'm sorry if there has not been any, my, I haven't given my thoughts on any of the other episodes um, over the last couple of months. So, um, I figured I would check out last night's episode. And last night's episode let, would have a lot of questions. Um, I wouldn't even say a lot of questions, but mainly just one. What is going on with Phoenix? Um, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, at the beginning of the episode last night, uh, we started off with a Gift of the Gods championship match. It was El Dragon Azteca Jr. defending against Ivelisse in perhaps one of the best matches on last night's episode. If you guys have not checked that ep the last night's episode out, that's one of the matches I would recommend checking out. Uh, Ivelisse fought her heart out, she gave it everything she had, but in the end, it was El Dragon Azteca Jr. winning and retaining the Gifts of the Gods Championship, which means that at any point, he could cash in that championship uh, uh, for an opportunity at the Lucha Underground Championship, currently held by Pentagon Dark, um, and I'll get into the Lucha Underground title situation right now, uh, but after that match with Ivelisse and El Dragon Azteca Jr., uh, Exolicious and Joey Ryan, uh, they would come out onto the the stairs or the entrance where the Lucha Underground wrestlers come out at, and basically ask Ivelisse to be their tag team partner um, to go for the trios championships seeing as how Ivelisse is a former two-time uh, trios champion. Um, so, and Ivelisse said yes, so it looks like Joey Ryan and Exolicious um, have found themselves a new tag team partner to go for the trios championship, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, but that is one match that I would recommend checking out from last night's episode, which was... El Dragon Azteca Jr. and Ivelisse was a pretty good match. So, uh, moving on, uh, we saw, uh, I mentioned the Lucha Underground title before, uh, we saw uh, King Cuerno, who last week uh, sent a message to Pentagon Dart, uh, saying he's coming for that Lucha Underground championship. He took on, you know, he, he fought in a match that um, the owner, promoter, Antonio Cueto set up. He took on Mil Muertes. Of course, anyone who is a fan of the Lucha Underground um, has seen over the last well, I think year or so uh, or last I, I don't even know how long it is uh, these two have been in each other's uh, basically they've been like enemies. Um, we saw uh, at Ultima Lucha Dos where uh, Mil Muertes defeated uh, King Cuerno and thought he put it into him in the death match. And then one year later, uh, King Cuerno took um, the, uh, the gauntlet glove from Mil Muertes. So obviously these two are not big fans of each other. And that was proof in last night's match. Uh, the winner of this match would go on to next week to face Pentagon for the Lucha Underground Championship. Uh, this one, very physical, very, uh, I mean, these two were going at it to the point where they ended up outside the ring and they started fighting. Uh, the referee tried to uh, get them both in the ring, go, to get them both back in the ring, and he, he got pushed into the crowd uh, by both, the, both guys to the point where they were like, the referee was like, you know what, ring the bell this match is done. Uh, they continued brawling towards the stairs, and that's when Antonio Cueto came out and basically said, no, 
it see you neither one of you's won that match, but I'm gonna reward you guys anyway. So next week it's gonna be a three way match for the Lucha Underground Championship with Pentagon Dark, Pentagon Junior, whatever you want to call him. He's going to be defending the Lucha Underground title against both Mil Muertes and King Cuerno. So that is a huge matchup set for next week. Um, so that will be interesting to see what happens in that one um, and see who walks out the Lucha Underground champion. Now we move on to the main event, which was for the Trium's Championships. It was the current champions, the Reptile Tribe, led by Cobra Moon, uh, King Daga, and uh, Jeremiah Snake. They, they defended against Drago, Aerostar, and Phoenix, the team that they took the titles from a while back. And this one had a very confusing ending to it. Um, as mu and this kind of ties into the opening of the of the uh, of Lucha Underground, showing what happened from last week, where um, if you remember, Mil Muertes took on Phoenix a while back in a um, like a like a, what is it um, where he ended up where Phoenix ended up in a coffin after losing, uh, and they did this whole storyline where uh, Katrina took. Um, his soul or whatever, and that freed her to be human again. And then, la um, last week, if you saw the beginning of it, of last week's episode, uh, Aerostar basically went back in time, took whatever was left, uh, took um, the, whatever was the, the half-heart that um, Melissa Santos had, and went back in time and gave it gave whatever was to Phoenix back to Phoenix, waking him up, and then brought him back to future time to reunite him with Melissa Santos. But uh, when they hugged, there was like something wrong with uh, with. Phoenix's eyes, where it started, like, getting all, like, bubbly and stuff, like, black bubbles and stuff like that, um, and basically, so, Phoenix last night came out, uh, for that trios championship match, and he looked completely different, like, he was, like, walking really slowly, um, he wore black instead of the the colored stuff that he, you know, colored outfit he wears. Um, the match was okay, getting into, to make a long story short, uh, the match was okay. Um, Phoenix did get into the ring near the end to help out, uh, Drago, I believe it was Drago, to take out a, a couple of guys that were outside the ring. And then, uh, when Aerostar looked to dive over the top rope, he ran into the ropes, and Phoenix hit a nasty super kick on uh, Aerostar, and then just basically just you know just finished him off. Um, hit him with like a uh, what it looked to be like a um, oh like a like a muscle buster driver, like a fire driver or something like that, a muscle buster driver type deal where he would look like he was going to go for a muscle buster, but then switched it into, like, a like a version of, like, a reverse pile driver. Um, and Melissa Santos looked on, saying, what are you doing, Phoenix? What are you doing? Um, and then we leave the ring. Jeremiah Snake would finish off uh, Aerostar and retain the titles. Then... As Phoenix was looking, go, was walking away, like all evil and stuff, uh, Melissa Santos would come up and be like, you know, trying to want, you know, ask him what's going on. He he would wind up pushing pushing her down onto the ground. Uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. would come out and basically try to comfort her, and that was pretty much it for as far as the matches are concerned. 
Uh, so, you know, what happened? Um, did, you know, what happened? What is, you know, what's going on with Phoenix? You know, is he, did, when Katrina took, you know, to become human again, did he, she give that evil side of her to him? Who knows? So, uh, we'll have to wait and see, uh, what happens in the, in the coming weeks. But, uh, uh, speaking of the ending of the Lucha Underground, uh, we saw a clip of Antonio Cueto um, in his office. Marty the Moth Martinez came, would come knocking on the door. Uh, he would then sit down. He would give Antonio money to uh, basically give him a shot at the Gift of the Gods Championship. So next week, that's another huge title match set for next week. Um, where Marty the Moth Martinez will now get his opportunity to challenge for the Gift of the Gods Championship, currently held by El Dragon Azteca Jr. Um, and then would give him uh, would give him more money, Mar Marty would, and that was basically where it ended. Um, he basically with the words it ended with the word uh, with Marty telling Antonio, "There's something else that I want." And so that was pretty much it for that episode. So uh, last night's episode, I thought was very a very good episode. Um, I thought the match that everybody should really check out uh, if you're gonna watch uh, last night's episode was that one with Evil Lise and El Dragon Azteca Jr. I thought that match was fantastic. Uh, but like I said, I thought the episode was a really good episode one worth of checking out. So, with that being said, if you guys watched last night's episode of Lucha Underground, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Um, this has been my Lucha Underground review uh, for last night's episode. So, with that being said, as always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.